the Chibok schoolgirls weeks after their abduction. This video released by Boko Haram in 2014 shows just some of the 220 kidnapped. Salam ala Rasulullah. Now the largest group yet, at least 80, have been released in return for Boko Haram prisoners. As we've seen before, some of those girls have come back with children. Um, some of them have also come back, um, you know, you know, with, um, with news of how they have been sexually abused. So the life there is, is, not, is not one that can be explained and put, and put in words. But the most important thing is that um, we're having them back. The students were taken from their secondary school in the northeast of Nigeria three years ago. In the aftermath, a global campaign was launched backed by celebrities, including former U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama. Then, in October last year, 21 girls were released and reunited with their families. A handful of others have also either escaped or been rescued. And while there are thousands more Boko Haram have kidnapped during their eight years of insurgency, this is the most high profile. There was um, a lull where, you know, the old celebrities are no longer talking about it. But what we have done as a movement in Nigeria is to keep it going. So in Abuja, every day, there is a daily sit-out. We see the results and the success that are coming out. It tells us that we should keep going until each and every Chibok girl that can be found is brought back. The girls will undergo medical checks before being returned home. And while their release is being celebrated, the others, at least 100, still in captivity, remain unforgotten. Adele Robinson, Sky News.